Hey guys, you're watching Cause you and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Polybridge. We are playing uh, on the Snowdrift biome, if you like. Doing okay. Doing okay in this new update. Damn, it's hard though. It's really, really hard. Like, this is. Is it zone 3? Yeah, this is meant to be zone 3. These levels are, I would say, harder than the Funland ones. We've still got Zen Gardens to do. Ah, uh, they're gonna be really, really tough. But we done three levels last episode. That's a that's good rate of of bridges to do in one episode. Now the original concept by Bolt nine eight six. We've got eighteen thousand wood steel and cable sports car police and the tuk tuk all going over a one a two and a three. A one goes to the top. A two goes to the middle. A three goes to the bottom. And they also drive out of the mountain apparently as well. So a one to the top. But it's faster. So it's a jump, isn't it? It's a jump one. Is it a jump one? Because we have no hydraulics, so we can't move anything. So it has to be a static bridge. Let's take the grid off. A1 to the top. So if we've done something like... That. And then... Strengthened it up. Something like this. And maybe some steel. They're not heavy vehicles, so... Wood should be better. It'll be cheaper, at least, than using steel. So we'll put those over the top. I love this game. Uh-huh. Put those on there. Ah, uh, come on now. There we go. And then... Like, that's not... Is it actually strong enough to hold... It is. One. Oh! Poor Tuck Tuck. Okay, Tuck Tuck definitely isn't going to make the jump to there. But, we could have, like, the police car just needs to make it to A2. So we could do something like that. A1 launches and makes it. A2, the police car, oh, not steel, road. A2 needs to make it onto that one. And then A3 just needs to sort of fall. Maybe? I don't know. Something like that. And then wood. I'm thinking that we m Oh, you're too far away. Oh, don't be annoying. Don't be like that. There we go. And then... Like this. Can I join up to there? That can. Okay, let's put... Ooh, over budget. <gasps> That's not good. Let's have a look. Well, the bridge is holding. A1 should make it. There's no difference with that. The police car... Made it, but the bridge broke! And now Tuck Tuck can't. Why did the bridge break? At what point did the police car break the bridge? When he landed. He landed too hard. And broke the bridge. It's the fat cop inside. Had too many donuts. Yes. Yes. Now Tuck Tuck should just fall down. Yes! <laughs> Amazing! Okay, that's like the quickest level we've done in this new expansion. Amazing. Hydraulic jump. Zautos is the guy who done this one. I think that's how you say his name. £15,000 budget. Wood, steel, piston, and cable. Wood, steel, piston, cable. Gotcha. Surface van, hydraulic phase, then monster truck. Yeah, I gotcha. So, A. We, we need to get a road from going from there to there. And then a hydraulic phase where the bridge will lift up and join up to the Okay, okay. I think I think I have an idea. We want something like I think that's maybe a bit too high. But something along the lines of this. This is our prototype bridge first. It'll get neater. So something like that. And then we need I don't know why that anchor point is there. I don't think we'll need that anchor point. Hmm. I think yeah, I think it's so many different ways, don't you? So this is one, two, three. I can't create any more roads. Oh, that has really thrown my plan off. Now this is hard enough as it is. Okay. I suspect this is here. From my experience, that has to be there for one bridge. For one piece of road. 
Surface van. That's all we've got. Oh, no, it isn't. We've got more. We didn't even go to there, but why would we want to go to there? We need to be able to lift the bridge up. We don't have any more roads available, though. I don't, I don't think we want to hook up to this anchor point. I think instead... Ugh, I probably want to get rid of that and put the anchor point just above it. Like that. So then the surface van should still be able to get over there once we strengthen it up. With probably steel because the monster truck is going to be on it. <gasps> with only three steel. I hate it when you don't get unlimited resources. That is so tough. Three steel, huh? I used one there. That might not be necessary there. Oops. That might not be necessary there. We might only need wood here. Okay. And then... How's the hydraulic going to push? The hydraulic's going to push... On a piece of road. Like... Hydraulic... Do something like that. Right, let's just give it a go with wood. Do I have unlimited wood? Yeah, I do. Good. <laughs> and put a limit on that as well. That may when you put limits on the materials, it makes it really hard. Like that that's the hardest part of the game is when you can't use everything that you want to use. Okay. Ooh. Okay, let's just see what it does. It breaks. Why why you break? Why Why would you even want to break there? Why do you want to be mean to me like that? Like, why do you break there? Okay. Put that back. Because I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Don't break. Just don't break. Okay, that one now broke. That's going to be a problem. But let's just see. He made it, at least. Bridge goes down instead of up. We want bridge to go up as much as it will. Okay, we know that breaks. That's no problem. I'm not worried about that at the minute. And then push up. Now, imagine if the whole bridge was being pushed up. That doesn't quite go high enough. Like, it's a pretty good jump. In fact, I'm surprised that it even was able to withstand the weight of that. Um... So, what do we want to do here? That's breaking. That's the problem. Oh, now that one's breaking. Why you break? Aha. 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 Stop breaking. Perfect. That's going to break when the camper van... Oh, man. That really ruined everything. Uh, more wood, then. Like that. Like that. I wish I was amazing at this game. I'd be, a l I would love to be amazing at this game, like as good as these map creators. Because you need to be really clever just to make the map. Let alone, yeah, you need to be even smarter to make the map to, than to complete it, I think. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, we're over budget. Why? It's just so orange. Oh, it just breaks. Why you break? Okay, we've got four steel available. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Replace those with steel. I know we're over budget. Not worried about that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and research, <laughs> aka cheat for this one because I have no idea. I don't even know how to brainstorm this one and, and, and come up with ideas. I'm going to see if someone's got a, uh, a solution on YouTube. I'll be back. I've got... I think I've got a solution. Well, I've seen it work, okay? It's the video that I just watched on how to complete this level. It's from the guy that made the level. Of course he's going to know how to do it. So he has something like this. I've got it on the screen beside me here for the moment. So what else has he got? Then he goes with the wood. Like, I'm com I don't get bemused by maps that often. Like, I don't go, nope, I cannot do this. Uh, very rarely do I do that. But on this one, I just have no idea. Uh, so we've got these hydraulics. Now, he's got a hydraulic that goes from here to there. 
and that's pretty much extended all the way down. And then one to there and one to there with them like something like this. Now it's going to require a little bit of tuning I expect, but that's what he done. See how come it's just solid green? Look at how strong this looks. And then those two, these two here sort of curve up to give it the height. That extends up. Are we going to do it first time? We are. Well, well, that's crazy. But that is like impossible. Is it just me or is that for a solution? It looks so simple. I know it looks so simple. It's like, it's just a straight bridge with three hydraulics, AJ. It's like, yeah, it is. But it's so, so technical to have... I don't know. I've just never used hydraulics in that way to slowly bend a bridge. I can't remember ever doing that. And if I did, it was by accident. But really, really hard. Very good map. Well done for that one. Anyway, speed it up so we can complete it and get to the next level again. Cool level. Really, really cool level. Just way too advanced for my little brain. I do not have the brain for that kind of thing. Okay. Another one from this guy, but we know how this is going to be ridiculously hard again, don't we? 60,000. At least we've got a lot of money. Wood, steel, piston, suspension, and cable. A dumper truck and a large paddling boat going to come through. Now, what limits has he put on us? Okay, unlimited road. That's something, at least. Unlimited wood, unlimited steel, unlimited... Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Zautos, Zutos, whatever your name is, for not making us have limited resources. Because that's really, really frustrating. So, did it say hydraulic phase in the order? I don't know if it did. However, how are we going to do... There's only these two points. Like, obviously, step one, we can put the road down. But there's no points in the ground at the bottom of the... Not that I saw, anyway. I'll, I'll look down. Hold on. No, there's no points in the bottom of the ocean to be able to stick down our an anchor point, if you like. Now, this is a hugely, stupidly heavy vehicle, and it's got to travel a long way. So, how do we anchor this for under 60,000? And, obviously, let the boat clear. Or, or clear, let the boat, yeah, clear the... You know what I mean? So... Do we use K a suspension for this? I don't. I very rarely use suspension stuff. But how do we even do them? If I go like up here and up here, let me just see what it looks like. What's this do? Oh. Oh, cool. I like that. Let's let's give it a go. I mean, why not? So I think maybe it's a good idea to brace against the side of the walls just for like a little bit of pressure release relief and then cable these up so we cable these by doing it like this oops as long as you hit them right cable them up like this now at the moment the bridge is going to cave in on itself i can already see it happening i can see this steel coming in that way and this steel coming in that way because it's only straight up and I don't think it's smart enough to realize that I want it to be rigid. I think it's going to just hinge on that point. But we should be able to solve that by putting in... Oh, stop doing that. By putting in a piece of steel. Another one. We're still sort of under budget but we're like really close. So if we done that... Oh, just reach will you please? Oh, I can't move you because of the... Okay. Like that. Oh, you're, you're, you're not going to allow me to do that. Of course you won't. Of course you wouldn't. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes! So, it, it looked so amazing when it happened so fast. See, the bridge falls. Because it's only suspension, the bridge is going to sag and get in the way of the boat anyway. So I don't think suspension is the way. I don't. I think that's wrong. I think we started off on the wrong foot with our concept. So, I like these bits, and I sort of like the look of the bridge as well. I sort of like that sort of smooth, smooth pattern. 
Uh, I tell you what, let's go. Let's go back to basics. Why? Why try and go complicated at first when there might just be a simple solution behind it? If we just use a bunch of wood here, it's cheap, easy to use. We can strengthen certain parts with steel if we need to. Like when we press play and we find a weak point, we might be able to just replace it with steel, and it might be strong enough just to hold itself. Oops, too high. There. And there. Oh, I just reached. <laughs> Don't start to annoy me, Bridge. You know you're good at annoying me. There we go. Reach, reach. Reach, reach, reach. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all the way because I have to move each one in. Oh, oh, oh. There. 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 Make that one a bit bigger. Okay. Obviously not strong enough. Yeah, way, way not strong enough. But, maybe putting some underneath. Okay. We can make the triangles bigger as well. We, we've got these triangles pretty small, I think. Obviously, we can't go where the bridge is, though. Because, uh, where the boat is, though. Because, obviously, there's a boat there. <laughs> it sort of, sort of ruins that plan just a little bit. Uh, get out of the way. I know it's too far, but you're like right in my face. Aha. Uh -huh. Get out of the way. Stupid man writing on screen guy. And on this side as well. We're doing fine for budget. We're like only halfway up our budget yet uh, at the moment. So that promises well because that means that we can use, we can replace a lot of this with steel if we need to. Which we will need to. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Nothing is ever as simple as what it appears. Okay, make these triangles bigger. Maybe ugh, as big as they possibly can. Yeah. The same on this side. Ugh. Oh, yeah, they were pretty close to maximum, actually, weren't they? There we go. And then just tweak these up a little bit. Okay, what does it do? You know, it breaks in the middle, but that's about it. So what if we replace these three with steel? It's still not going to be strong enough, but yeah. And then maybe those ones and those ones we replace with steel. That seems to be a trick as well, using steel just around the outsides, but not in the middle. That seems to to be quite a strong combination of of resources. Okay, it's now breaking there. Do we just if we the trouble is if we add more weight, we're not really solving the problem, are we? That's the thing. We're just sort of making the problem happen somewhere else. And I can't. I can't, by the way, guys, uh, like go down to the bottom and just make it stand on the bottom of the ocean. It's like a void. If you think of Minecraft, a void area underneath, it's like that. Uh, you're not too far away. I know you're not too far away. Okay, we're getting some stronger points now. This part is like still way too weak, though. I wonder if... Actually giving ourselves a little bit more room here to maybe have a little bit of like a wooden frame underneath it would be good. It's gonna be our last little our last little on camera part together, and if this still doesn't work, we shall um I shall go off camera for a moment and uh, and tweak with it a little bit. But I'm thinking of something like this. You're not too far away. Stop arguing with me. There. There. And then, like that. Nope, I'm going to have to brainstorm again. I'm not going to cheat. That was my only cheat, but I am going to brainstorm it and try and think of some, uh, some other ideas. Okay, I should be back. It's so close. What do you think, guys? I just went, like, really basic, straight bridge, steel above it. 
and just leave it like that. We're 65,000, so we are over budget. So if this doesn't work, then I'm going to be in real big trouble. But I'm hoping that this is just going to be strong enough. Oh, do you see how red some of those spots got then? But it made it. It made it without breaking. So now we just need to make it 5,000 cheaper. Like, does this need to be here? Yeah. <laughs> the simple answer there is yes, it does. Oh, it broke over there now. All right, uh, maybe that isn't the solution then. Uh, what if we maybe made some of this into wood? Like, I don't think it needs to be as strong. Why would it need to be strong here when we've got all of this steel underneath? Holding it up. It's doing the same job. It doesn't need to be super strong there, I don't think. Ooh. Oh, we... We're 500 pound over budget. Let's speed it up and just make sure he makes it. Oh, it goes so red, but he made it. He made it with no breaks. So how do we now... How do we now get 300 pounds down? What? Do we need that one? Let's find out. That's under budget. Slow down. Yes! Brainstorm. That's what, what... I go too complicated. My prototypes, I see the level and I go... Right, we're going to need this, we're going to need this, and it's going to have to be a funny angle. When in reality, it doesn't really usually have to be like that. A lot of these levels have very simple, have very simple solutions. That was a straight road, completely straight, with steel and a little bit of wood to get it under budget. And that was it. Very, very crazy. What's this one? Gentle jump. Gentle jump. I'm sure it will be with a monster truck. 35,000. This is going to be the last one. It's by uh, Zaltos? Zatos? I don't know how to, I have to learn how to say his name. 35,000. Wooden steel with a monster truck. Okay, from there to there with a big old rock in the middle. 12 road, unlimited and unlimited. So it's only those three things. 12 roads. We should be able to do something like... Let's keep the grid on. Because... Oops. Uh, this guy who does these levels seems to have simple solutions. Oh, hiccups. He seems to like his simple solutions to his levels. Now, do we have six on one side and six on the other? Do we have 12 on one? No, we don't want 12 on one side because we've got like a mirror image here. So we want something like... We need to be able to get over that rock. Right? Like that's obstacle A. Is Mr. Rock. I don't quite know how fast this monster truck goes, though. Is it a really fast one? Is it a slow one? I hope it's a fast one. I'm going to take the grid off when, when you're working with these angles. You also get, seem to be able to get longer roads when you use... Yeah, you do. You can get longer roads without using the grid. Like that. So that's six. That will miss. That will miss what we need. And then on this side, we want it to land. Oh, but there's a uh, a post here. We can't have it actually land on top. We can't make it fall because it's going to land on that part on top. So we need this to be pretty perfect. Okay, we're out of roads. Luckily, that looks to be all the roads that we would need. And then steel. Start on this end. Let's see if we can get this jump to land first. So, I think you always want to start off with maybe a triangle. Sounds good. And then, maybe there, and there, and there. Wood above it. From what we've learned, wood, or, or, or the wood being above is stronger than the wood being below. So, put that on there. Oops. I wish I wouldn't do that. There, there, there. There and there. Now, it's not going to be strong enough, I don't think, to hold the monster truck. Oh, it is. Oh, man! Did you see that? We nearly just made it slot straight through. No way. Imagine doing that. Imagine just getting it to fly straight through. 
It's so possible. If you could, you'd have to be so precise. Oh man, okay, we can do this though. We can do this though. I think it's too high. We're way, we're, we're over strong if anything. So let's just drop this down, make it not quite as, as urgent uh, or, or as, as high. We want to release a little bit lower. Oh, we don't want that to happen though. Definitely want to miss the rock. That's the, the only obstacle. Just skim it. Just skim that rock. Okay, I think that's too low now because that bridge stays here. I put my mouse cursor on it. We need to make sure we're above that. Oh, we, we just... You know, I think we had it better the first time. I think it was better. Like that. I don't think it's quite the same. <laughs> okay. Maybe drop it down a little bit. I don't know if I should drop it down or drop it up. Or, or, or make it go higher. That's got to be good. That is so perfect. You could not ask for a smoother landing than that. So we're going to do the same thing. I want If we can maybe get it like literally exactly the same. I'll be very, very happy. Like that. We're still under budget. We're still good. I don't think we even need this many roads because we were landing like way before or way after where I've got the um, end of the road on this side of the bridge. So if this doesn't work and like when we land, we break the bridge, what we should be able to do is actually take away like half of the road part of the bridge and... and just strengthen up the lower end, but that might be strong enough. Oh, it's just such a nick off. Uh, I just need to like adjust like a piece of road here, but where exactly? Slow it down. That's nearly like a perfect landing. It's so close. In fact, I bet if you've done that enough times, it would just do it. Like, I bet it would glitch out one time and just, like, complete it for you. Oh, back on 100%. There we go. So, it's, like, landing there, but too hard. So, I'm going to actually remove that. No, I didn't want to. Well, let's just put my mouse right there. Do I land there? I land just after there. So, we shall do that. And then wood get rid of that grab some steel I think just by making this stronger it should be pretty good well a little bit left in the budget that's got to be pretty good right that's got to be strong enough yes it broke, but I don't care. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button if you're not already. Please subscribe. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six levels left on this snow drift area. And then we've got the Zen Garden. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am just nervous. All right, guys, see you in the next episode.